Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, today Bitcoin has been going down for some time, but now as soon as I started recording the video, this uh, the price action is going back up again. So I guess um, we hit another support and people started to buy. But today we are also going to talk a bit about the uh, inverse correlation with the dollar and we will probably see the probably no we will see it definitely i will open the chart of the dixie the dxy and you guys will be able to see what's happening with this uh small crash today of bitcoin a few thousand dollars so let's go directly to screen share and we will start as usual with the price of time model let me just zoom in here for those using iphones or androids and you guys can see uh, so well. So here we are. We have been ranging again. So just going back down a bit below the 56K. So we lost a bit of support there. But the candle of the week is still not below the candle of the previous week, the opening of the previous week. So, so far, so good. I will only be a bit, just a bit concerned if the candle of this week goes below the opening of the previous week. And so far, that didn't happen. We are still below the threshold uh, exponential curved line. We are still above the 20 week simple moving average. So everything normal with the price to time model, everything in line with the, um, the predictions of the price to time model to have a top uh, this year um closer to the end of the year of course you know you you guys know this already so let's see what happens so regarding price to time model everything looks normal um so let's go directly to the mri charts and the mri strategy we will start with the weekly the weekly has been going down as you guys know already so this week has been a bit of a retracement but still we did not get even to half of this big green candle here so it's not alarming to me so this is just a normal retracement of another retry to break out from this triangle but going back down again probably we could even go down not maybe not this week completely to the bottom of the triangle but probably even if we continue with this trend next week we could have another candle here going to the bottom of that triangle but if that happens sorry for that guys if this happens let me just uh put it back again if this happens uh let me check so if this would be for the next candle uh we could be looking at fifty-one and a half thousand dollars if we hit the bottom of the triangle again. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, it's completely normal. If you are using a triangle, an ascending triangle like this, it's normal to range inside the triangle and find support on the bottom side of that triangle. So as you guys know, also this is a green triangle ascending. That's why I put it green because it's probably. Um, um a pattern that you guys know already which is bullish and so we could be facing another retracement before another try for the breakout so let me check the 20 the 20 uh, week simple moving average is now already at 49 so on the weekly it's exactly the same price as yesterday but i bet on the daily we went up a bit already in fact it's a bit up like 100 bucks if i'm not mistaken so for the weekly everything everything is uh pretty much the same way as it was yesterday except for this uh small break uh down from the 56 um 56k level to 54 850 now so we went a bit back down again this retracement but nothing nothing to worry about so far until of course, you should worry only if we break out this triangle to the downside and, and also break the 20-week um, simple moving average 
to the downside. So the RSI continues to be bearish. We are now pointing down again. The MACD also bearish. We have four, uh, four bars, four red bars. The biggest one is the one where we are now. So the outlook of the weekly chart is not so good, but let's take a look at the daily before we go and check the dollar. Okay, here we are. So this is the retracement we have been uh, seeing today. Let me zoom in again for you guys. So we are now on 54,750 and we have been going down for some time since a few hours ago. So we, break, we broke the 56k level and we are now here but we have the 100 period uh, moving average, simple moving average going up and probably this will support the price. But I would like this one to be a higher low and not the same level as these two candles around here. So if possible, I would like even the week, I would like this shadow, the week of the candle, I would like it to be higher than the previous candle. But at this point, if we continue to go down, I don't know if this week will be above that one there. Uh, so it's not it's not easy to see this happening. I know you guys, I understand what you're feeling now. But so far, until we get to the bottom of the triangle, and only if we don't have a reversal, I will be a bit worried and try to reanalyze everything. So the daily, the daily doesn't, uh, the daily in fact was the most bullish chart we had, but now this is turning. Uh, the RSI is uh, in the middle of the territory, but pointing down. And the MACD is also the blue line, as you guys, I hope you guys can see it here. Uh, this beep was just my batteries getting charged. So I hope you guys see it here. Um, the blue line is already touching the orange line on the MACD. So we are about to turn bearish on the daily unless unless the support holds the price exactly where we are and we have some kind of reversal uh, really soon. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I've been having a cough these days, uh, so it's not COVID, by the way. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, so regarding the daily chart, that's it. But let's take a look now. Uh, you guys know this has been falling from, from the 56 level, almost 57 again today, but we are now around the 54, uh, 55, actually 55, exactly 55 now. So we went back up a bit again, but I have something to show you guys here, and this will be the Dixie. So you guys can see it. Uh, this is the daily chart. So today the dollar has been a bit crazy. We hit this bottom again as just we did uh, some time ago around the 20th, 25th, the 25th of February. And we now hit it again yesterday, this level of support, which I will show you on the weekly chart. But as you guys can see already on the daily, we had a bit of a surge today on the dollar price. And this is why Bitcoin is going down. In fact, it's not uh, it's not Bitcoin losing value. It's the dollar increasing its value that is, of course, making the uh, value of Bitcoin decrease. So, I I sometimes I I, I take a look at the Dixie at the DXY, the index for the dollar. Um, a few days I just forgot a few days behind this video, so I forgot to to check this chart. But uh, one follower told me that we should check the Dixie yesterday. So today I was checking the Dixie in the morning and I saw the dollar surging. And now I understand why Bitcoin is losing some value today. Okay, so in my opinion, this is one of the reasons of, if not even the main reason why Bitcoin has been going down today. Uh, it's just the dollar valuation is going up, what makes which makes the Bitcoin valuation go down. So it's not a problem with Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is healthy and sustainable. We are still, as you guys know, with the price to time model. Um, we have been uh, following all the trend that we are expecting to have until the end of this year. 
So basically, it's a, it's a, it's a dollar valuation situation and it's not regarding Bitcoin, uh, of course. There are no FUD or any bad news about Bitcoin even, so uh, everything looks okay. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, my analysis of the dollar, of course, is that the dollar broke this wedge on this area here in February, but we are still having a lot of difficulty going up and all the moving averages are coming down. So... I believe that we are going to continue this trend and not go up so soon at least. Okay, so the Dixie is already done. Let's just go back to Bitcoin and let's check the four hour chart now. Just waiting to load the MRI. Okay, this is done. So as you guys can see, this is now uh, stopped already. I guess we have a lot of support around this area. The 54,000 has a lot of support. The 53, 54,000. Um, and this descent of Bitcoin has been stopped again on its tracks. I hope it remains like that because this looks like a 1 to 4 correction. Uh, 1 to 4 candles correction. And we could see a reversal in the next few hours. Uh, although this is the 4 hour chart. So we are on a 4 hour candle. And there's still 3 hours and a half to go. So this candle started just half an hour ago and has been going down. But I don't see this going to touch the bottom of the triangle unless something really crazy happens with the dollar and the dollar just, you know, uh, explodes to the upside and probably that would take Bitcoin to touch the bottom of the triangle. But so far, I don't see so much strength in this um, bearish move. So let's see what happens in the next few hours the rsi of course pointing down the macd completely bearish here on this chart but one good thing is the bitmax funding rate and the bitmax funding rate as you guys know is a very interesting uh indicator for you guys to understand the sentiment of the market and right now we are exactly at 0.01 so that's a good case for the bulls and I don't see the BitMEX funding rate influencing right now the price of the uh, Bitcoin market. So, uh, so far so good. And let me check. We are already a bit ex overextended in time. So we are going directly to the pro indicators. And you guys know already that I have a few uh, new areas here uh, the second long speculative area the first long speculative area none of them has been touched yet so you guys know already my strategy i will go long of course if we hit the first long speculative area but with short positions not really not short positions sorry so uh, small positions so i will i will dca uh, into the market of course being long but with very small positions in this area because we still don't know what's going to happen regarding this range and this range is very very big so if we happen to have a fourth range boundary around this area here before we go back up i want to have some cash on the side in case i want to go long here in the second long speculative area if we in the other hand go back up because i don't see enough strength right now in the market to break this all-time high of 64,000 that we had some time ago i will of course take some profits around this red area here on top and you guys know already the uh values for the areas so the the take profit speculative area is 61,000 to 63,000 the first long speculative area is 51,000 to 53,000 and my second long speculative area is from the 40,000 to 44,000 i believe that this one is really difficult to get there so i don't see the price action of bitcoin going to this uh, second uh, rectangle the green rectangle here However, it's very possible that we hit this first long speculative area that I have here. Okay, guys, so this is the analysis I had for you today. So let me stop the screen share, go back to the full screen. So basically, one of the reasons I believe that Bitcoin is retracing again today is because of the dollar. The dollar is valuating a bit. I believe it's like trying to fight for its life, uh, one of its last breaths. And um, let's hope that this completely crazy money printing uh, in the United States will take us to uh, lower levels than 89 on the Dixie. And if that happens, of course, we will see a recovery on Bitcoin price valuation. Uh, but 
of course we don't know what's happening in the sidelines and those guys are really sneaky um just um talking about the interest rate of the of the money to be increased in that. and of course that takes the dollar up but it's only you know it's not it's not um it's not an organic valuation of the dollar it's just a fake and so i believe this will not last long of course if you enjoyed the content gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new so share this video with your friends and tell them about the channel and of course guys i will see you again tomorrow bye bye